Every year, roughly 2,000 babies in the U.S. are born with sickle cell disease. In today's HealthCast, though, we're going to show you how doctors are working to protect these babies from a potentially deadly side effect. <laughs> Yolna Tribulant is no stranger to sickle cell anemia. Both her son and her niece were born with this inherited blood disease. Yeah, it's hard, but... I guess because I've been dealing with it for such a long time, I'm used to everything and I know the steps that there are in order for them to um, get manageable care. The disease changes the shape of red blood cells, causing them to be destroyed when they go through the vessels. And it's amazing how that only one tiny small change in the mutation can make this big change in the clinical aspect of the patient. Dr. Hector Rodriguez Cortez, a hematologist oncologist with Broward Health, says the disease puts these children at a higher risk for a stroke, which is why regular screening starting at the age of two is vital. The patient will be receiving a, what we call a ultrasound uh, and we will look for the vessels that go to the brain to make sure there's no evidence of obstruction that will put this patient at risk to develop stroke. Yolna's son and niece are doing their best to not let this disease get in the way of doing the things they love. I will approach myself and say I have this thing, but I won't care, I will still do it and um, try to be better and do better things and learn better things. I know what to expect, so I kind of just live with the fact that they have the sickle cell and I try my best to take care of them so that they're able to, you know, live a normal life. All right, well, the screenings typically continue until the age of 16, at which point the risk of a stroke from sickle cell does decrease.